Here we are at the Texas Motor Speedway for the running of the Nationwide 500, the eighth chase race of the Gary Cup Series season. On the pole for today's race, Jason Smith Jr. So close at victory this season. When is he going to break through? Can today be the day? Starts on the pole. Who's outside the 22 of Alan Lewis? Then third, your points leader, Cole Luigi, trying to extend that points lead out. He has it by six points right now. Fourth, Ivy Hernandez. And rang up the top five, Brand Tharp. Then sixth, they have Andrew Miller. You have to know this race is big for TJ Hanley in seventh. It's his home home track race. Has done great at Texas before and also carrying with him everyone impacted by the shooting in Sutherland Springs just yesterday or just two days ago now uh, when, when this is uploaded. But uh, you have to know that everyone in Texas riding with Hanley and the Jeffersons, you know, those are the three main people in the Gary Cup Series from Texas. Hanley and the Jeffersons looking to bring it to victory lane for the state of Texas here today. Two's outside is just Ethan the nine. Then rounding out the top 10, Luke Rainey in ninth and John West in 10th. Then the rest of the field, Jeff Bright and Josh Mito. Another Texan, Jay Jefferson starting in the 13th position. Francis Dustin, who is outside. Then Michael Gregory and Wyatt Walker. Carter Friesen and Tim Gary. Derek Kemmel second in points. Kevin Bannon, six fine Cole Luigi. Then Alex Stewart and Keegan Thompson. Cynthia Bright and Derek Bouchard. Marcus Sachi and Michael Cantle. Then Tim Randolph and Evan Hunter. Hayes Sumito and Brady Wormness. Patrick Smith and Alexander Rowe. Then Riley Spurley Tube and Trey Rainey. Eli Bright, Joe Jefferson, the Texan as well. Then William Seaman and Jonathan Beeford. Levi Shones and Julius Anderson. Then Isaac Nichols and Max Anderson rang out the field in row number 21 here for the Nationwide 500. Let's now go down track side to the command. Great command to fire the 42 engines that will take battle here at the Texas Motor Speedway for chase race number eight. We're coming down to the wire in the chase. Just five races left, including this one. 51 laps at Texas. It's a long race. And because of the, of the shooting in Sutherland Springs, we're going to take the first three laps in silence for the victims and the victims' families. So the pace car is in. Let's go racing at Texas. Fort Worth, Texas. We are green. Thank you for the three laps of silence. Now there are those affected by the Sutherland Springs shooting. So in that three laps, Jason Smith Jr. has cleared to the race lead. Cody has gone to second, but he's under attack now from the 22 of Adam Lewis, who is right now third. Ivy Hernandez has gotten up to fourth. Andrew Miller fifth, and then it's the battle for seventh. TJ Hanley and Jay Jefferson. Jefferson going to go around the outside of that 30 car, move the one car to the seventh position. Hanley to eighth. Those are two Texans battling side by side. See Hanley with the Texas Geico sponsored. Toyota for Swan Racing. Great car, great paint scheme. As we look, the front four are coring together. And the, the 42 really the one that's kind of slowed second, third, and fourth down. Code Luigi's car right now, not really the best on track. It is what looks to be a top 10 car. 
It's just not the best. Not really a top five car by the looks of it right now. But possibly later into the run, if, you, if you're saving your tires now, you could possibly get a little bit better later in the run. Who knows? Now race down the back stretch. Koluigi does have a little bit of a run down here. Look at him entering turn number three right to the back bumper. That 33 car looked to the inside. Just could not get it done there. And Lewis now looking to the inside. The 482 stays in line. Here comes Adam Lewis. He's peaking low. But Avi Hernandez makes the move first. That's her third. The 78 car. Trying to clear the 22 of Adam Lewis as they come down the back stretch. Code Luigi onto the back for the 33. Jason Smeo Jr. Hernandez clears down the back. Lewis still gets a run to the outside. Still side by side as they hit turn three. Hernandez clears the 22 for third. And look ahead. Code Luigi has a run. Couldn't get it done there. The front eight cars have really pulled away. And then Jay Jefferson trying to get to that sixth position. He's battling Brandon Tharp, but that's kind of... Uh, Hanley was battling Tharp, and then that's how Hanley lost his position to Jefferson. As Adam Lewis is backing up through the field, back to the fifth position after being passed by Miller. Andrew Miller's been pretty stout these last few races. He's had some pretty good cars. Just has not been able to find victory lane. Much like Jason Smith Jr., he's had some very, very great cars. Just has not been able to close out the deal. In fact, he finished second at Martinsville by a thousandth of a second, which is immeasurable in my mind so you know samir jr wants to get to victory lane and show that he can do it the battle for second code luigi and avi hernandez hernandez has the preferred inside lane entering turn three but can code luigi get the run the outside that you can sometimes get if you drive it hard luigi does drive it hard he's going to clear hernandez off of turn number four keep that second position that's really what's kind of affecting these guys back here jefferson hanley just cannot get by tharp who has the outside lane in three and four one, two, the, the inside lane looks a lot better. See, Jefferson clears. He's up to that sixth position. The battle is for seventh now. Tharp and Hanley are now side by side as they race down the back. And Lewis trying to take that position back from Andrew Miller. He has Jay Jefferson up his back bumper. Miller, though, gets a good run. Jefferson up inside the top five. He gets to that fifth position. So the one card charging up into the top five. Jay Jefferson trying to win at Texas. Meanwhile, the front three is still the same. Jason Spear Jr., Code Luigi, Avi Hernandez, who was kind of backed up now. Hernandez tried a different line. It didn't work for him. Now they race down the back. The front two pull away just a little bit. Meanwhile, your points leader is leading. Where is the 18th Kevin Ban? He's in the 22nd position right now. That is a point right there if he can get by John West. So if he can get by the 87th, that is another point. Which he definitely, desperately wants here. Right ahead, Luke Rainey. Another point right here. Francis Dustin in the 19th position. Jeff Bryce falling back to 16th. Then your next chaser from Bright is Hanley in 8th, Tharp in 6th, and then Code Luigi in 2nd. Looking for the race lead now. Couldn't get done there. Gets a little tight too. Javier Hernandez does have a run to the inside of the 42 car. He times it right. Gets to the corner panel. He's pulling him down the straightaway. Big run for Javier Hernandez. Can he get to that 2nd position? 1-2. I believe he's going to be able to. Can't quite complete the pass yet. The 42 tight up top. Hernandez to the race lead as Adam Lewis and Jay Jefferson now run down those front three. And then the battle for here, this the top nine. Alex Yours come out of nowhere and Tharp is still blocking Hanley. Hanley and Tharp just around each other and Hanley just cannot get by that six car. It looks like the 30 is faster than the six, just cannot get by him. Now Hernandez, he has a fast car, but can he run down the 33 is the question. We know his car is faster than the 42s as Luigi's still, try still trying to keep that third position. He's fading just a little bit now as they now race down the back. Hernandez peeking to the inside, showing the nose of that number 78 Chevrolet. Now looking to the bottom of turn number four. Big run for Hernandez. He's side by side with Samito Jr. to the stripe. Barely edged by Samito, but Hernandez to the inside in one and two. Can he complete the pass? Treacherous inside lane. Code Luigi and Adam Lewis bound for third. Still side by side as they hit the back straight away. Trying to clear. Hernandez slides up the track. Tried to take that 33 line away. He could not get it done. Samuel Jr. clears as the caution has come out. Racing back. Samuel Jr. back in front. Hernandez second. Code Luigi in third. As Tim Gary has gone around a chaser. Michael Canto possibly involved in Evan Hunter as well in the 11 with damage. Thompson drives away from the scene. Possible damage there. The 09-11-16 get the most damage in that. Samuel Jr. leading the field back. We'll see if they come down pit road or not. As we're about halfway through the race already. So very fast race so far at Texas. See if they pit or not. 
They're staying to the inside, so they might come down pit road for what should be their only pit stop of the day. They're low on the track. Here they come down pit road. And now the question is, two tires or four tires? Once again, just like at Phoenix, I would recommend taking four tires. It prob it'll cost you some time on pit road, but I think you can make it up on the track. Although Texas is not like Phoenix. You can easily pass at Phoenix. Texas, a lot harder to pass at. So it'll be interesting to see the strategies played. Spanier Jr., of course, with the number one pit stall for winning the pole. He hits his pit stall. Let's see what he does. Let's see what the 42 does, your highest chaser. So far, two tires going on. I believe everyone should take at least two, but some might take two, some might take four. So far, everyone in the top ten I see has taken four tires. Yes, I believe everyone's just taken four tires, which is the smartest call right here. Smith Jr. wins the race off pit road. Avi Hernandez second. Jay Jefferson, Code Luigi, a longer pit stop. Some bigger adjustments going into that 4-2. He's losing tons of positions. He's going to fall back here behind the 18 of Kevin Bandon. Still in pit road. Finally leaves, but nowhere near the front. Comes in third, out in the 30s. A disastrous pit stop. Adam Lewis the same. Comes in fourth, out in the 30s. So first, let's check out what happened to bring out the caution. Here's the reason for caution number one. Michael Canto and Bray Runners up the track in this big pack. Both at the wall come down. They get Cynthia Bright and Patrick Smith. Then Canto back up into the wall. Down, gets into Smith, spins around. Evan Hunter nowhere to go and just hits the 09. Then Hunter goes up, gets Eli Bright, gets Nichols, who gets a, a ton of damage. Then Tim Gary nowhere to go, hits as well. So a pretty big crash. To, got about three, four, five cars with damage there. And uh, Smith with damage, one of your chasers, Eli Bright, Isaac Nichols, two Hendrick Motorsports Chevrolets, uh, chaser Tim Gary all torn up in the front end, brought them down pit road, Samio Jr. left, or went in first, went out with the race lead, Hilly is back to the green flag. They come down the back stretch, we'll take the green flag on lap number 20. Every car still on the lead lap, every car still in the race, Evan Hunter those on the tail end of the lead lap, so he's going to try and keep his... Lead that position. Jason Spino Jr. still with the race lead. He's dominated this race so far. But in second, a Texan, Jay Jefferson. Third, you have Avi Hernandez. Fourth, Andrew Miller. D or Der Derek Hamill up to fifth. Then TJ Hanley in sixth. Seventh, Josh Amito. Eighth, Alex Stewart. Ninth, Justin Heath. Tenth, Tim Ralph. The biggest losers on those pit stops. Adam Lewis came in fourth at 36th. Code Luigi, your chase leader, your points leader, in third, out 28th. And he's behind the 18th on track now. Bandon up into the 19th position. So, That'll be very interesting battle to watch here as the pace cars in. Smear Jr. with the race lead for the start. They come into the restart zone. Green flag is back waving. We're back racing. Smear Jr. to the inside. Jay Jefferson will also ban to the inside lane. They're going to get by the 11 car easily. Hernandez stuck up top. You do not want to be up top. You want to go to the bottom lane as far down low as you can. They're splitting them. Look at them three wide back here. Hernandez and Hunter very slow as they get into the fourth gear. Hernandez moves out of line. To get by. Many cars getting held up dr drastically here. Bow for third. Derek Hamlin looks like Andrew Miller bound side by side. TJ Hanley right there in the fifth position in number 30. Hamlin with a push into turn one from Hanley. Hanley looks to make it three wide. That's for the third position. Big move for TJ Hanley as they go down the back straight away. We talked about the curse he's had here at Texas. It's his home track. He's not performed well here at all. He's never won here, I don't believe. Can he put it together here today? He's gotten to the fourth position. He has just needs behind him. Hamill will clear for third. As the front two are gone. You can see Hanley protecting that inside lane. He doesn't want to give Heath the advantage into turn number one. Heath slides up. Hanley has to go up the track as well. Down the back straightaway. Miller up to the high side. He thinks that would be his best bet going into turn number three. Hanley clears Heath down low. And Samir Jr. is out of here. Jefferson trying to run down. Your points there, Code Luigi. In the 23rd position, has been a gradual gain so far for him. He has lost some positions, though. He's now back 25th now. The 18 of Kevin Bandon is up here battling inside the top 15. There's right now one, two, three positions three points in between them it will close the gap down even more but there's still a ton of racing left a lot of things can happen here at texas and bandon could be fighting for a top 10 here in a second 18 car on the move 
Stuck around mid-pack. Those pit stops. They obviously did something right for that 18. He's charging up. He's trying to put Tharp in between he and Code Luigi. That'd be a point. As you can see right now, in between he and the 42, we assume it's going to be the 6, the 27, the 87, and the 39. That is right now, what, 3, 4 points. Code Luigi in the 22nd position. He wants to get around that 39 and the 87. Then he can try and get his sights on the 27 and some of these others. But the inside lane not working for the 34 and the 18. It's really slowing Bandon down. He might just abandon and go 3 wide right here. Yeah, three wide move up the track he goes, gets really tight. But Tharp is the one all the way up top. He might hit the wall. He does. Bandon gets by. So that's a point. Yeah, but Code Luigi could do the same to the six and the twenty-seven. Yeah, Code Luigi has those four points in front of him. There's four points right now between the eighteen and the forty-two, which would be two positions. Like left, six points apart coming into the day. If uh, Bandon gains four points, beats two points in between them. It's coming down to the wire. Samir Jr. has pulled away from Jay Jefferson, that 33 car, very fast. Uh, TJ Allen has gotten to fourth as he's right in the back bumper of Hamill. That car does look just a little bit faster. So here, Jeff Bryce cleared for 11th. Here comes Bandon up inside the top 15. Going for the 12th position. He's three wide with the 78 and the 13. He clears the 13. Can't get by the 78 is the question. Meanwhile, your points are Code Luigi's lost another spot to the Chasers. So now it's only a point separating the 42 and the 18 with the 42 on top right now. Just not the day Code Luigi won. He was in third. He was going to gain points on Bannon, but had some sort of issue on pit road and falls back, way back. Now he has to try and make those positions back up. He has he has five in front of him. The 6, the 27, the 14, the 87, and the 39 right in front of him. Van doesn't really have a position in front of him. It's Jeff Bright, but Bright's a few cars ahead. TJ Hanley to third. The 30 cars gain as the caution has come out. Car upside down. Michael Gregory. Canto was upside down. Nichols also involved. Another big crash as the yellow comes out, and Samia Jr., not what he wanted to see. He was checking out in the field. Now he has to deal with the restart and two Texans behind him. But do they come down pit road is against the question. If I'm the 42 of Code Luigi, do I come down pit road? I'm back there already. Although track position is big. I don't know if anyone would give up that track position to come down pit road. Unless you're like towards the back of the field and you know you're going to lose maybe one or two positions, you're probably not going to come down pit road. Let's say maybe put some new tires on there and try and run through the field, but even then, it's not really that easy. Code Luigi was holding ground in his third position before that caution came out. Now, after the pit cycles, he's trying to get into the top 20. So just showing that track position is the, the big factor here today. So no cars come down pit road. Canto, upside down, and a nasty crash at Texas. Let's check out what happened. Racing towards the back of the pack, Michael Gregory up top three wide. He's going to hit the wall and come down. Jonathan Buford will be there. It spins him down into the 7 of Alexander Road. Then they spin up the track. Into the wall goes the 55 and the 29. Canto gets some heavy front end damage there. Spins down to the inside. Casey Mead also gets some damage as well in the 20. And then Canto spin back up the track after hitting the inside wall. Nichols saw a hole and it just left once the 09 slid back up. And that's a hard hit there for Canto as he goes flipping through three and four. Luckily, the car ends up on all four wheels, but the 09's day is done along with the 48 and possibly even the 55s. John Beaver did hit the outside wall pretty hard there. Casey Mead also got some pretty heavy damage there. Up the track, hard, hard contact. See how hard that 09 did hit to the inside wall. As you can see, he did, in fact, hit that inside wall. Pretty good contact right there. No safer barrier either. Hard into the passenger side door of the 09 for Nichols. And that brings up the second caution of the day. Jason Smith Jr., not what he wanted to see. He was pulling away from the field. He has the dominant car, but now he has to deal with the restart with the one of Jay Jefferson and the 30 of TJ Hanley behind him. Coming back green, lap number 33. Jason Smith Jr. still out front. Nichols and Canto, the two to retire from that crash. We have 39 cars on the lead lap, 40 left in the race. Evan Hunter, a lap down to the inside. Remember, he was very slow on the la last restart. So up front, Jason Smith Jr. in 33 in second, Jay Jefferson, third, TJ Hanley, fourth, Derek Hamill, fifth, Tim Randolph, then Wyatt Walker in sixth, seventh, Justin Heath, eighth, Josh Miel, Andrew Miller in ninth, and Carter Friesen rang out the top 10. Now, is this what Code Luigi wanted? A restart? Try and get things together. 
to try and gain those positions on the shoot chart. Bandon did not want this. He was cruising away from the 42 and the others. Pace cars in. How is 11 affect this restart? We're about to find out. The green flag. We're back racing at Texas. Samir Jr. and Jay Jefferson get away. Staying to the high side of the front three, four, five. Freezing the first to break low, but you don't want to go low. Now is the outside going to be the place to not be? Hunter almost shut the door on Jeff Bright. And that is huge for the 18 of Kevin Bandon. He gets away. Now the outside lane trying to charge, but it's not going to be enough. Hunter's going to come out in front of them. And now the outside's going to get blocked. Does Luke Gray make a move to the middle? And look at Cole Luigi, he's up there in the outside lane. Nowhere to go. And Bandon has gotten away. And the 51 might pass the 42. That could be another position lost. Big, big points implications. Smeo Jr. still the race leader. The battles for second, Jefferson and Hanley. And then three wide for fifth. Samito to the bottom, Walker in the middle, and Tim Randolph going to lose that position as he falls way on the outside lane into the wall just a little bit. As Hanley looks for a second on the one of Jay Jefferson. Couldn't get it done there. Now how's the 42 fairing? Still stuck by the 11. In fact, losing even more positions in the chase. A disaster for Cole Luigi. I bet now it's probably tied at the cut line. As Bandit might pass Jeff Wright right here. Bandit could get to the points lead right here, I bet. That's for 10th. Kevin Bandit out front in the points, I believe. And Cole Luigi still struggling. He finally got by the 11. I'm surprised he didn't dump him as Luigi back into the 30s now. Back with the damage cars. So Hanley has gotten to second. He has his sights set on the 33 of Jason Smith Jr. Jefferson trying to hang in third. Derek Hamill is the one in fourth. Walker trying to keep fifth. But Tim Renoff is there. Hanley's last lap, about the same with Jason Smear Jr. Hanley was robbed of a win earlier in the season at Bristol. Had it locked up, the caution came out, then was passed by some lap cars. He wants some redemption. How sweet would it be if it comes at his home track? A 27.78 to Smear Jr.'s 27.95. Hanley is faster. Thirty car not as fast as it once was. Bandon still making up positions. It's gonna be close hanging into these final four chase races. Bandon and Code Luigi, and with Luigi having his issues, it's gonna close everyone together. Seven car Alexander Road coming off pit road. As last time by, Samuel Jr. was faster. In fact, everyone in the top three was faster than Hanley. So it's just on and off depending on who's faster and who's not. Just over 10 laps to go. The 42 of Code Luigi, back here. 33rd. 32nd now. He just passed the 43. Or no, he is still 33rd. He has the 6 in front of him. That would be a point if he can get by him. Other than that, the 51 is the next closest. Then the 14. The 27, the 87. The 39. And then he got the 5 and the 18. Samir Jr. has been running faster than Hanley. The caution has come out. The 6 has wrecked with the 22 and the 24. And it looks like Cole Luigi missed it. He's gotten away in the 42 car. And another caution, another restart for Jason Samir Jr. Not what he wanted to see once again. With under 10 to go, we're going to have a restart. So the 11 will not impact this restart. He'll be at the back of the field. So that'll be very, very interesting to watch there. So let's check out what happened. One of your chasers, Brandon Tharp, in a hard crash at Texas. That car is done. This is a very strange crash. It almost seems like it was on purpose. Adam Lewis and the 22 down low. The 24 is Cynthia Bright up top. And watch Cynthia here. Drives over and into Adam Lewis and spins them both hard into the outside wall. That almost looked like it was some payback for something. And then Brandon Tharp, nowhere to go, just into the driver's side of Adam Lewis and flips him over. So our second flip here today, up into the outside wall hard. And then Tharp. Rolling down the track, and I believe he's going to get hit by a car on the apron right here. Yeah, Evan Hunter, and then that's the done deal for both of them. 
And so many cars could be taken out because of this. Let's look at this in real time. They're going to look at it from a different, some few different camera angles. See if that 24 did come down. That looked a lot like it was on purpose. Almost as if the 22 and the 24 had some sort of altercation before then. And this was Cynthia's kind of payback for that or something like that. See right here, the 24 keeps moving over and just moves over into the 22. Yeah, it's almost like Lewis wasn't there, but it looked very, very intentional from what I could see. Well, let's go on board the six of Brandon Tharp, see what he saw from this. Then we're going to go on board with Code Luigi, who came into the day as your points leader. So let's look at it. And that 22 bounced off the wall really did it for the six of Brandon Tharp. He might have been able to miss it. 22 bounced off the wall with the rear end. And then Code Luigi in the 42 missed another one. He just decided I would rather just kind of let off there and lose some positions than go full bore into there and possibly hit someone in the rear because they're checking up. So Samuel Jr. was pulling away after, or before that. Not what he wanted to see. A restart. He has TJ Hanley, a hungry, hungry driver behind him. Jay Jefferson, a hungry driver behind him. It's going to be an intense late race restart here at Texas. Here we go. What we presume to be the final restart at Texas. 40, lap 45. As the car's up because of that, Adam Lewis and Brandon Tharp along with Evan Hunter. The lap cars will not restart to the inside. We have 35 cars still left in the race on the lead lap. Jason Smith Jr., the one out front. He's dominated the race. I believe he's led every lap. He's trying to hold on and win. TJ Hanley, a Texan in second. Another Texan in third, Jay Jefferson. Then Derek Hamill, Josh Domino, Tim Randolph, Wyatt Walker, Kevin Bannon, Justin Heath, and Jeff Wright rounding out the top five. Your points that are coming into the day. Code Luigi set to restart in the 30th position. He does have some chase spots in front of him like Patrick Smith. And Levi Schultz, but it's going to take a lot for that 42 to gain those positions as they're pretty far up there. So the pace car is in. Who gets a good enough restart to get away at Texas? We're about to find out. Green flag back out. And Hanley stays with the 33. Samuel Jr., that's the closest I think anyone's been to that 33 on a restart. Someone did not get going. It's the 70 of Avi Hernandez. They're wrecking behind him. No caution. The 31 is sitting broadside of the track. We're still racing. Hanley with the peak to the inside. Samir Jr. Couldn't get done. Now the caution comes out. And it's going to be a late race restart. My oh my. What a mess. Koluigi got away. He did gain some positions. I believe he got past the 14 right there. Looks like Bannon was ahead of it. He actually gained a spot there. So that's what? Six to go now. It's going to be about two laps to go and get the green flag. Wow. The 78 Avi Hernandez does not get going and it slows up the whole entire pack. Let's check out what happened to bring out another caution here at Texas. Well, now I see why the 78 did not get going. The car in front of him, Andrew Miller, blows up here on the start right here. He's trying to shift, I think, into second. And it blows up on him. Then he goes to the high side. I don't think some cars noticed, and right here, he's going to get hit by the 14 up into the 56 on his side. Look at some of them going through there. Some of those chasers going through there like that. Insane what just happened there. Look at this once again. We'll go back just a little bit farther. So right there, he hits the gas, and then right after that, I believe they were trying to shift into second right there, and I believe that's when Miller blew up. Everyone's slow. And then right here, Schultz just clips the 31, sends him up on his side. And then some others just able to miss it, get through. So Code Luigi back there. <laughs> Once again, more luck for that 42. Just after his bad luck. And it took a while for the officials to throw that. And we were mentioning Code Luigi's luck. He's had some good luck missing Rex, but when it comes to everything else here today, it's not been some very good luck. So once that happened, the caution came out. Hanley tried to get to the race and Samuel Jr. just did not work out. I believe it's going to be two to go and get the green flag. Samuel Jr. trying to end off a dominating day with the victory here at Texas. It all comes down to this. Two laps to go at the Texas Motor Speedway to see who wins the Nationwide 500. So, Jonathan Buford, Andrew Miller, Derek Richard retired from this race because of that crash. We should probably finish with 32 cars on the lap. I say probably because anything can still happen. 
out front, Samio Jr. has, I think, led every lap here today. He's trying to close out dominating performance with a victory. Behind him, Hanley looking for a win at Texas in second. Jefferson trying to do the same in third. Hamill in fourth. Randolph in fifth. Then Josh Mule in sixth. Kevin Bannon up to seventh. Wyatt Walker eighth. Justin Heath ninth. Jeff Wright tenth. Your points leader, Code Luigi, 21st to restart. The pace car is in. Final restart, Texas. They come to the stripe. Green flag is back out. Hanley, another great restart. Stays with the 33 Samir Jr. as they hit turn number one. It's going to take a big move out of the 30 to get by that 33. I just do not see it happening unless it, ha it has to happen this first lap, I think. Hamill has gotten to that third position. Jefferson fa falling just a little bit as they go down the back stretch. If Hamill looks on for Hanley, it might be all over. That's for second. Behind Samuel Jr. Can Hanley get wound up on the high side and have one more shot Samuel Jr.? He gets a good run through three and four as they come off of turn number four. The white flag is shown. One more time around Texas for Samuel Jr. as they battle hard behind. TJ Hanley trying to run down the 33. Samir Jr. has had the best car all day here today. They race down the back stretch. Samir Jr. less than half a lap away from victory in dominating fashion at Texas. Hanley not able to close it enough. They go through three and four and off of four. Hanley drives it hard. It's not going to stick. Samir Jr. dominates the Nationwide 500 and wins at Texas. He beats out Hanley. Once again close. Just cannot get it done at Texas. But Jason Samir Jr., the wait is finally over. He's been so great so many times in this chase. Just has not been able to close it out. He finally gets done here today with a victory in the Nationwide 500. Let's check out the finishing results and let's see how the point standings were affected because of this race today. So here are the finishing results from the Nationwide 500 at Texas. There were four caution flags for 16 laps. And one driver led this race. That was your race winner. Jason Smith Jr. starting on pole. Led all 51 laps to get to victory lane in the Nationwide 500. TJ Hanley, close. Trying to get his first victory at Texas, just short, ends up second. Heartbreak for him, but still great in the uh, chase. He was the highest finishing chaser. Then third, Derek Hamill, once again, showing that he is a great substitute for that car. Tim Randolph in fourth, and Josh Mule fifth. Kevin Band somehow made his way up to sixth with those series of cautions. He gained spots up to sixth. Great run for him in the chase. Seventh, Wyatt Walker. Jeff Bright, eighth, another great run in the chase. Max Harrison, ninth. And Jay Jefferson does fall to tenth on the final restart, but showed that he had the speed here today. So there's your top 20. Joe Jefferson out of nowhere ends up 14th. He was nowhere near the front this whole race. Those cautions really helped him out. Code Luigi up to 20th while he was third pretty much the whole first half of the race. Those pit problems relegated him back to the 20s. Then getting stuck by the 11, relegated him back to the 30s. Up to 20th at the end. Showed that the heart of that 42 team is still there. That the heart of the driver is still there. And I believe he does keep the points lead, but it is very, very slim heading into these final four races of the season. Some chasers down here. Patrick Smith and, in fact, Luigi passed Smith on the last lap. Imagine if he wins it by one point. He can come back to this race. Think about that last lap. And then Shone's 26th. He fell there late, I believe, because of the contact he made with the uh, 31. John West, 31st. Not what he wanted. Tim Gary, 33rd. Alexander Rowe, 34th. Brand Tharp, 38th. And the rest of the field and the right side are the points standings i don't know them once again i haven't done them but i would presume the 42 is still on top but it's probably very very slightly now i believe the 18 has probably closed in within a point or two so it's gonna be wild once again anything can happen the four race left talladega atlanta rockingham homestead anything can happen so the next race the ninth chase race of the season the camping world 500 at talladega see you guys then